Yeah. Um, surprise. Don't be surprised because. In our country, white people have said hurtful things about black people throughout the history. I mean, if you look through history books, cartoons, you know, big lip images and watermelon eating and shit and uh, chicken. And if you apply stereotypes to white people, then you come up with what Reverend Wright is saying. White people have controlled our country. If you're a white person and you don't think white people control the country, then you're stupid. Now, the difference between white people and black people is very simple. It's very, not just the color. It's very simple. Throughout history, we have served you. We've been your slaves. We're your best friends in the movies. When some shit goes down, you know, who talks about black guy, Earl? You know what I mean? It's like, there's always a black guy to go talk to when there's a problem. Maybe not. But in my experience with white people, white people have said some hateful, fucked up shit to me ever since I was a kid, little kid, a little kid. I remember I was like 15 or 16, I was working at McDonald's, and uh, an older white guy, he had to be in his 60s or 70s, walked up to me, looked me right in the eye, and spit on the floor and said, clean that up, boy. I'm an asshole. So, you know, me being the person I am, I had a little friend, you know, my friend was cool, you know, he used to try to kick it and smoke weed with me and all that shit way back in the day. So I'm like, hey boy, come here man, help me homeboy. Could you clean that up for me? And I looked this white man right in his eyes as I had the young white kid, younger than me, clean it up. And I smiled and said, thank you, sir, sir for uh, pointing that out. Someone could have slipped and fell on it. He shook his head and rolled his eyes. And, you know, the look on his face was of sheer disgust. He wanted to reach in his pocket, pull out his pocket knife, and insert it somewhere up in here. He wanted to put it there. I could see it in his face. And um, white women have said some fucked up shit to me, too. Um, throughout the course of my life, white people have said some hateful shit. So don't be surprised when you see older black people saying some fucked up shit about white people. Because it happened. It happened. The original Holocaust happened. You know, it wasn't like, you know, these guys going by in a ski boat. Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, me and my thumbo over here just uh, trying to make a basketball hoop. You guys want to take a boat ride? That's not what happened. Millions of people were rounded up, brought here as servants. And we still serve you people to this day. What I mean by you people, I'm going to say it. The rich white people are still getting service from black people. They'd rather have a black maid. They'd rather have a black butler. Or an English butler. You know, and Mexican housekeepers. Rich white people don't hire white people to do their menial work. They don't. They just don't. And you have to look at the big picture. You wonder why Reverend Wright and there's a couple professors I saw actually talking about, well, not Reverend Wright, but the one professor was like, kill white people. I'm like, what? And there's one lady says, if, if a white person would say kill black people, that that person would be arrested. White people talk about killing black people every day. And through the industry called music, young white kids have learned how to say nigger. Yes. Kill that nigga, shoot that nigga, wipe that nigga out. Yeah, I heard the whole fucking shit. And this is perpetuated through racism, systematic racism. How come you don't hear no rap records of these hip hoppers talking about killing white people? They pull that shit. That shit don't get played. Remember Bumblebee? Remember Parrish? When you talk about hurting white people, you get shut down. Of course you can call your women bitches and hoes and show some asses shaking because they're not white asses. So, you know, until the day comes where everything, well, put it like this. Way back in the days, in the 40s, 50s, 30s, 20s, whatever, they would depict black people publicly wrong. So, just because you don't say shit in the public no more, that don't mean it's not being said. And when someone black says something, that shit makes front news. If I said right now that every white person out in America was cheated, 
duped, flim flam, lied to, bamboozled, mis mistreated, misappropriated. White people was treated wrong in this country. If I say that in a manner and, and, and with power and conviction, white people were treated wrong in this country. White people deserve. Da, 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 da. If I go on and on like that, that's all you'll see. But if I say, you know, teach this white motherfucker a lesson, you get this white son of a bitch and do this and that, then that's all they're going to want to show you. They're going to want to show you some black guy mad at white people. I ain't mad at white people. I'm mad at the white people that control the white people. I'm mad at the people that duped the white people into believing that they should hurt all these other people and do all this and that and this and that, and now they're suffering. Poor white people suffer because of what rich white people have done in the past. And who do poor black people see? Poor black people see poor white people. Poor white people see poor black people. And that's why you got these little white kids out here with their baggy pants down. That's why you got the so-called wiggers now the white niggers. They're not niggers because they white. They not niggers because they don't this and they don't that. They niggers because they don't have what the rich white people have. They're niggers because they're no better than the black people in which they emulate. And that's not my fault. So when you look at the the Reverend Wrights and uh Professor fuck, what's his name? And all these people who are speaking out against white people, he's just saying it differently than Martin Luther King. He's saying it differently than the young Mal old Malcolm X versus young Malcolm X. He's saying shit in a manner that's going to bring shock. White people are like, oh, no, we're not like that. Yeah, you are like that. Your husband don't like black people, but he'll go have sex with a black woman. Remember? So you look at the big picture. It's not about black and white anymore. It's about rich and poor. Now you poor white people are worse than poor black people. Poor black people have an image they got to try to live up to. And that's every other black person with something. Poor white people don't have no images to look up to. Poor white people don't set examples. Poor white people hurt. They hurt worse than poor black people. They hurt worse than Mexican people because poor white people can't be seen in the eyes of white people. Surprise! That's why white people don't help poor people. Oh, look at that bum over there. Look at him. Piss stain. Panhandling. They make laws against that shit. They shut that shit down. They trying to stop white panhandling. I'm not saying because there's more white panhandlers out there than black ones. A black man would uh, struggle, do everything he can to get some last resort is panhandling. How many black panhandlers you got in your town? I got a lot of white ones. Got white guys out there playing guitar. Trying to get something. San Francisco, you see, you see black guys, street artists and shit, trying to get their money on. White people suffer in the streets for everybody to see it. Everybody knows the poor white guy down the street who had everything. And you white people out there on the other side of this fucking camera talk all this shit about black people, Mexicans and everything, and, and belittle people. Belittle people to the point where people go kill themselves because they don't want anyone to be in this world. This world is so fucked up. And yet and still there's white people laying in the streets of America. The streets. Dreadlocks. All matted. Laying out. Used to be a teacher. Used to be a doctor. Fell subject to the rules. Fell subject to the life. Fell subject to the game. White people. Surprise! It's sad. It is very sad. But, um, I'm not here to help white people. I'm not here to help black people. I'm not here to help Mexicans, Asians, or whatever. I'm here to enlighten provoke talk and make people think about what they've done in the past despite the future forgetting tomorrow killing today and all I can say after all that is you've been tubed